Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last video, our uh, mum died in what is probably the darkest moment the series has had so far. I criticised it a little bit, saying, oh, it kind of came out of nowhere, but I've, I've been thinking about... Oh, hello. I've been thinking about that more and more, and I think I actually quite like that about it. It just kind of showed that it doesn't matter how powerful Hawk gets, how much wealth we accrue, how much we you know, how, no matter what we do, uh, random terrible things can still happen to us at any moment, which is horrible but true to life, so... Fine. There. You got a pat. Now will you leave me be? <coughs> Try to sniff my crotch and I swear I'll stab you. Oh, show. Strange. I figured you for a dog lover. I don't dislike dogs. I just don't like having my leg humped. At least, not without dinner and a drink. And now I've forgotten what I came here for. Blast. Silly dog. <laughs> You're the best, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Um, yeah, so... Dramatic things happening. Uh, let's have a look at what... I don't know what is going on with this. I've given everything in for the Herbalist, and it's still there, so... Not sure what to do about that. Talk to Aveline and talk to Varric. These are everyone being sad about what's happened. Which is uh, pretty understandable. And another thing... Oh, I've got a letter. Another thing we have to do is go buy some bloody... Or make some potions. Actually, let's try to make some potions. Because we are... Uh, that's poisons. So I can't make... Oh, I have to buy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, actually, while we're here. No, no mind. <laughs> Damage plus 10. For 30 minutes? That's not bad. That's kind of crazy. Huh. Uh, it's quite a long time. I'm just gonna... Uh, grab a couple of those. Just in case. Just in case. Actually, I'm gonna, just gonna grab four of them, and then if we end up in like a really hard fight, we can... Uh, we can choke them on. Um, desk. Sarah Marion Hawk, please come speak to me and only me and my keep. It's a matter of utmost privacy and urgency. Okay. Well, you know, never mind that my mum just died. I'm just going to ignore that. All right, let's go buy some things because we are potion poor after some of those last fights, which were a little bit crazy. And then we'll go talk to Varric and Aveline, and then we will carry on with our main mission. Mission? Mission! I don't know why. It's desk day again, folks. Well, it's 1am, so... Later on is desk day. I just need to stay awake. I just need to stay awake. I woke up at 10pm again, and I just... I don't know. It's not late enough. I'm really struggling to get my sleep under control. It's really, really bad. Well, hopefully I will be awake. We will able to pick the desk up. I'm just paranoid that if I'm asleep, I won't hear the door and then they'll get annoyed with me and give it to some stranger on the street. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Money's getting up there, slowly but surely. To 92 gold, not bad, not bad at all. Boop. Right, someone sell me, please, some health potions. Does no one sell health potions? <laughs> I'm not convinced anyone... Wait, where's... Badon doesn't sell things to me anymore, does he? Let me go check uh, Lowtown. We we need potions. <laughs> we're, not, we're in a spot above here. We're down to 3-4 because that last fight was... Horrendous. That one with the 20 bajillion men. That's too many men. I don't know how many men is too many. In a room. Four, I would say, is probably too many men. Three is, like, acceptable. I guess it's all relative. To room size and such things. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm very tired. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, enchantment. No, right? No, not chance. Oh, no, all oh, oh, that. Mm. It has got 14 cold damage, which is pretty sweet. Gloves of the Void. No. Boots of the Red. No. Sell me some potions. Somebody, please. You're gonna do it. I believe in Trinket's Emporium. Ooh, fire damage. Ooh. 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 
Uh, oh, I'd lose so much mana though. But I would hit really hard. I don't think that's worth it. Ooh, Blood Mage stuff. No. Health potions! I need more than this, but it's a start. It's a step in the right direction. I mean, we can use the other ones. We can use um, Elf Root and stuff like that. And it will work. You're yeah, not going to sell it. No. Uh, that's all the vendors here. Armor. You're not going to sell it. Okay, let's go chat to someone else. Necessary busy work here. Why can't I order health potions? Hmm. I'll, I'll grab some health root ones, just so we've got... ...something, right? Uh, who else sells things? There's someone in... Uh, d -d 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 someone in the docks. And there's people in the gallows. Let's go to the gallows. I don't shop in the gallows very often. Maybe because they're called the Gallows. It's not the most optimistic name I've ever heard. Ah, I need to vent. <laughs> everyone in my life is being so annoying. <laughs> Genuinely, just everyone's decided to... Today, decided they're going to be really, really, like, frustrating to deal with. I don't know, what, I don't know what's happened, or why today is the day. But today seems to be the day. No, I'm not giving specifics. I'm just a little annoyed. <laughs> I just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. People... It doesn't matter. I, don't know, I, get really, I got a really weird message. Someone messaged me pretty much out of the blue and said, I guess I need to tell you bedtime stories. And I was sitting here looking at the message and I read it about 20 times. <laughs> thinking, what the heck are you talking about? And, I, and they, they said, oh, I guess I need to read you a bedtime story. So I kind of like asked them, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, hello. 38, ooh. No, it's all spirit stuff. I don't care about spirit stuff. I might care. I don't need the attack, though. That's the thing. It's better, but it's not It's not worth 10 gold. What's that uh, set I was building up? The Overseer, yeah. Intriguing. Nothing from that, right? What about this? No. Do you not sell potions? Well, I got some anyway. Up to 16, 17. That's okay. That's plenty. Uh, no one else here, right? Nope. Okay, right. That'll do anyway. It seems that they also don't restock. They restock between acts, but I think if we burn through all these, we've basically run out. So we need to maybe use the elf root ones in the meantime. Let's go talk to Varric. But yeah, this is me basically saying, like, um, oh, I guess I need to tell you bedtime stories, and then like a series of a few emojis. It's like, right, maybe I've missed a step here. I'm really confused <laughs> what you're talking about. And they're like, what do you mean? And they explain the emojis, and I'm like, okay, but why are you reading me a bedtime story? And it's like, to keep you entertained. I was like, what are you talking? Like, no preamble to this whatsoever. Not someone I'd been chatting to. Just very strange stuff. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Oh. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hear you and the Ravani have something going. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Are you? Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. <laughs> Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl, but I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Do you ever feel like the world? <laughs> I um, I remember. Like everything. Um. Back with my second ever girlfriend. We're talking fifteen years ago now. <laughs> no, probably not that. Probably about thirteen years ago, something like that. 
And we went away for the weekend with her family. They were going to like a Butlins kind of thing. It's like a camp resort sort of thing. And me and my, and my ex and her sister and her boyfriend, who was an almighty prick. Um, not relevant, but just what I'd mention it. He really was. We're just drinking, staying up, getting drunk, hanging out, all having a lovely time. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. So you tell me every single time. And her sister, proper, because I've got chest hair just because I'm a hairy man. Um, not not excessively, I would like to I would like to think, but you know, there's chest hair. And I remember her sister proper popping off about it and how much she hated it, like be basically begging me to shave my chest. It was all very odd. Thankfully, my ex was not that kind of person because I just oh, who wants to shave? I'd look like a seal, like a manatee or something. Hawk. Avalon. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? That'd be very harsh. My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right, then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawk. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. Thanks, Evelyn. It's very nice of you. She's a good character. I don't remember particularly being fond of Aveline. I remember being fond of Isabella and of, um, <clears throat> of Varric, but... I think Aveline is one of those characters you appreciate more with a little bit of age behind you. When you're... How old was I when... It, well, I don't know. When you're a teenager, I don't think she's the kind of character who sticks out to you as much. Anywho, let's talk to the Viscount, who wants to talk to us in private, assumedly, about the Kunari. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. He's your child. How fast can he be? Who knows? He might actually listen to you. No one else has dealt as closely with the Kunari. I hope you will see that we can be accepting and still be a proud citizen of Kirkwall. I wish we could all see that. You've got a feel for this guy. He's juggling a hell of a lot. So much infighting. There's like three factions and they all hate each other and everyone wants to murder everyone. <clears throat> Has Isabella changed clothes? Every time I see this corset, I, I'm trying to remember what she used to look like. And it feels different. But um, there's always a good chance I've lost my mind. Right, I think that's the only mission I need to do. Compound by the docks, okay. Wait, what's that top one? Okay. It's all, the only mission we have, seemingly. Until this herbalist tells me what the heck is going on. Ambushed! Mercenaries have blocked the streets. Well, that's very silly on their part, isn't it? Ambushed! Walking bags of experience have blocked the streets. Oh no. Yummy, yummy experience. If I got my... I don't have my stuff on. Let's get yourself as well, Meryl.
I did that in the wrong order. Can I? I just want to try. Oh, I don't care. But can I turn that on first and then turn everything on and keep her mana at 30%? Is that a thing? Well, Isabella, I was going to ask you to fix this trap, but you've kind of uh, zoomed off like a ninja. And then come back. That was cool. Oh, Overseer, nice. Who's pathetic? I'll talk Avelina, one of them. Good boy, Casperus. Okay. So was that anti Canari, anti Viscount, or Seamus himself not wanting to be reviewed? Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Okay, but very excitingly, we got another piece of the set, Cowl of the Overseer. So we gain 20 armor, we gain 10 attack, we gain... We lose fire damage, but we gain 16 mana and 2 mana regen. And armor. And it looks a little bit better, we never see it, but that's important. Also, we're too closer to the, to the set bonus, which is the important thing. It feels like each act probably has its own big set we're looking for. So I'm stretching. <laughs> That's the stretching noise, obviously. Hey, I think I knew that man back in Antiva. Bye. <sighs> Isabella. All right, let me grab someone else. Um, I mean, Fenris. I don't like having Fenris with Meryl because they don't really get on, <laughs> given Fenris's attitude towards mages and blood magic in particular. But. Um, I still think he's probably the right choice. Oh, we've got the friendship. Magic resistance, plus 10. Let's get the Cyclone maxed out. Is he using these abilities? Yep, cool. You were allowed, Basra, until the army shocked if there's otherwise. Okay, buddy. So, hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. Meh. What would the Arashok want with a random human? Also, are there no Kunari women? Is it just because this is like a hunting party, so it's all men? Are they not losing their minds a little bit? <laughs> Maybe they're just all banging each other. Maybe they just don't care. Like, I get the feeling the Kunari would not care about that. They wouldn't have sex for, like, recreational purposes, I suppose. At least they're not these ones. These ones are very angry. Nice tattoo work, though. There's no reason they can't be hooking up with each other, I suppose. I suspect not, but you never know. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? No. In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Baz still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Converting the Viscount's son. His opposition will have a field day. Um? The enemy of your enemy should be your friend? I don't fear the whole of them together. And it is not my role to reject the free choice of Vidathari. The son responded to his own demand of the Kuhn. He is neither my slave nor my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That probably could have been mentioned earlier. They are meeting at the Chantry, a last pointless appeal, I assume. The Viscount would not involve the Chantry. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I just can't think of it right now. Her intent is obvious, and what the Kuhn demands is clear. This is the last insult I intend to suffer. Resolve this, or her hiding place will be reduced to rubble. I will be watching, Hawk. Did you say you'll be watching like a hawk? Eh? You have no back. 
Where's your lumbar support? Your back's gonna hurt, buddy. Especially with that armor on. Um, okay. This is interesting. Slightly concerning. Sorry, Vamaris. I'm glad you joined me. <laughs> you never know. I mean, this, this... Uh, the, the mother, her, Patrice, has been an absolute nightmare for a very long time now, and you do get the fairly consistent feeling... Oh, I have to change it to night time. That she's just trying to stoke a war, basically. She, she wants an excuse to rile the Kunari up. She's trying to make them attack so she can go, look, they're as vicious as I said. Which people do all the time. Um, people will goad someone into attacking and then use it as a way to like support their own prejudice against that person. Not on my watch, bucko. Although, something bad is coming. <laughs> uh, Cassandra, who I believe is a uh, companion in Dragon Age Inquisition, Cassandra said that we do something terrible, we as in the champion. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but Cassandra has said as much. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. You've been a headache, but to outright kill someone? That's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Kunari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! You'd want to be the one with the, uh, the big armor set, wouldn't you? <laughs> Had to be one of these nerds. They keep saying stop the freak first. Am I the freak? <laughs> I think I'm the, th I'm the freak. Go on, Isabella, get in there. It's always an easy way to make a villain, just make them super crazy religious. <laughs> it's just the way of the world. Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. Forgive me, Your Grace, but you must know the truth about what happened here. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Sarah Hawk, is it? Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. It's a ruse, Your Grace. Seamus was killed to set people against the Canari. This is no longer a matter of heathens squatting in the docks. People are leaving us to join them. And we must pray for them like any other. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you stand with the captain of the guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. 
The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. It's been a brutal couple of episodes. It's been a brutal couple of episodes. Why is that so hard to say? It has been a brutal couple of episodes. It really has. Ah, oh, bloody Nora. Mm. Magic. Magic. Mm, I'm gonna get. A l oh, I'm not allowed. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna get a little bit of constitution. Anyways, here we go. Plus twenty-five percent fire and cold damage. Very cool. And maybe okay, this won't exactly ease tensions. The Viscount's son and Canari aggression, even if justified. About that, uh, Hawk. There's something I need to tell you at your house very, very soon. Do I even want to know, Isabella? No, don't answer. Is she finally going to tell us what this has all been about? All her hiding from the Kunari? To catch a thief. Okay, that's our only quest, so I guess we're going. God, I'm, I'm surprised that Patrice just got annihilated like that. I thought we'd have some big... I thought it was building towards a big battle, but that is the, the source of... Terror from the Chantry taken care of, at least. <laughs> Just with a crossbow in a very Boromir esque sort of death, really. Bow, arrow to the, the chest and the forehead. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little. Are there any good seats left? Hawk, the Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law, I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die. There. Got your attention. Real problem. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well... Maybe it's connected. 
What? I'm just saying, maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. We have to, I mean, look, Isabel's my partner, and I have to care more about the people in my immediate circle. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Fenris? <laughs> Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think she planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short. But nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. Her armor is so cool. Right, what the heck is going on? Ferris? Ah, a fascinating breed. Such intelligence and strength. Do you ever wonder what he thinks about? He still thinks about dog things. Just with more clarity. Are you aware that this breed originated in Tevinter? The Magisters bred them. It said the Mabari defected during the Imperium's invasion of Ferelden. Merely a tale, but I rather like the idea they found the barbarians more palatable than the mages. Exactly so. Let's hope your hound doesn't take after his ancestors too strongly, hmm? It's a good point. May I say again how thankful I am? You quite a lovely estate you have. That's why he used to sell me things, so now because he's here, he can't. I find that very odd. Hey, Gamlin. Deandra. Dead. I know, I'm sorry. I know you were being a bit of a dick, but it is your sister after all, so... I'm not that surprised. Greetings, mistress. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning, and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? If you're staying here, Orana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid, like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Mistress. You're too good to me. I don't love that. <laughs> I like, I know servant's better than slave, but servant still doesn't scream respect and good life to me. That, that, that felt a bit awkward. I would have said, you, you can work here, you know, you'll be, a, you'll be an in-house chef slash maintenance elf. <laughs> servant just, if you're going to stay here, it'll be as my servant. Ugh. Like, I would never have someone... Like, I, I, I would never have, like, a live-in hell better way, obviously. A. Money. B. Weird. Whoa. Hey, guys. But I don't think I'd ever call him a servant regardless. Surely even, like, maid is better. Maybe people... I mean, if you've been called slave your whole life, maybe servant's fine. Dog lord. Interesting. That's how I feel about this dog lords making me murder all these Mabari. It's too much. They are non-stop targeting me, these ones in the corner. All three of those archers crop all over me. 
Goddamn health potion. Grumble, grumble. I don't want to use health potions. I don't have enough health potions. Meryl! Let's just keep ramping up that constitution for you. What was I leveling on my... Oh, a spirit, right? I'm going to pick up... I'm trying to think if there's a way to get her more health. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> excuse me, excuse Um, I'm going to put Mind Blast on probably the shield as well. I just need her to tank up a little bit. And especially if she's going to cast a shield... But accept, and you wake up in the alley. If she's going to use her health, then using your health to make yourself much more defensive would in turn give you more health. Hello. <laughs> Isabella, what is going on? You've not told me the whole truth. It's very upsetting. Hold. You will surrender the relic. I don't have the relic. I don't have your stupid relic. The bot has no honor. Oh, I'll kill it. It's your son. Maker takes you. Wait, Sten? Sten? Is, wait, Sten? As in Sten? Can't be, can it? If the air shark asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes, about that. The relic belongs to the Canari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Tell me what you know. You can trust me. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. The relic is a Canari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzlan, whatever his name is. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. And they can't leave without it. All of this could have been avoided. Sounds like the Canari take their reading very seriously. Is there anything the Canari don't take seriously? I'm sure there's something. Maybe knock-knock jokes? <laughs> Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. There's more at stake, but... Well, the Arashok waited this long. Oh, I don't know. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. Oh, Isabella, what are you doing to me? Horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. Oh. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. Can I not just kill Castillon? Can I not just... That would that would make life easier. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I I wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Don't make us regret it. Come on, we've no time to waste. I hope she's got a better like a, a long <laughs> a wider plan here because. Oh, Isabella. Isabella, Isabella. Where is the relic? I... Uh... I have it! The Tome of Koslan will not fall into Deventer hands! Blood and spite! A toss, Kanari! He's getting away! Isabella! See you later, Isabella. Am I killing everyone? <laughs> Guess I'm killing everyone. <laughs> Sten. Okay, so Sten isn't a name. Sten's like a title, I guess. Must be right. That's good. I do. I, do, I don't want to kill Sten. <laughs> I don't want to kill actual Sten. That would be very upsetting. I wonder what Sten's. What's he up to? What's that mage doing? 
Where's Liliana? <laughs> Liliana's gone on a little little jog. Poke around. What gear did we get? Uh, yeah, that's great. Good stuff. And that is. Yeah. Less exciting. Not bad, but less exciting. Let's so have a little poke. Isabel is going to go get it back and then she's going to do the right thing, I'm sure. We're going to kill Cassidy and all. Alright. Oh, don't have a rogue anymore. Ah, wait, what? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. What the hell? Oh! I clicked to the song thing. What, what do you need from me? for Isabella, yeah. Increases critical chance, nice. I think everyone must have like a... That's pretty good as well, we'll give that to Isabella. Everyone must have like a unique thing. I don't think everyone gets crits. So everyone must have like the one special thing they get. Maybe for Meryl we can increase our blood magic ratio or something, that'd be cool. Isabella, I hope you're okay. No matter, like, I will destroy every single Kunari in the entire town, if need be. We're going to keep you alive. It's fine. Totally reasonable thing to do. People always talk about the greater good and sacrifice one for the many, but that doesn't work if the one is one you care about. You know, if someone said to you, I'm going to kill your mum, but 50 other people are going to survive because of it. Bad people come out at night. It would be good to get rid of them. How many people are going to take that deal? I would not. <laughs> Dear Hawk, I've got the relic and I'm gone. I'm sorry it has to be this way. You've been a loyal ally, but this is best for both of us. You promised me the relic and I know you'll fight Castellon for me, but I don't want this. I've dragged you too far into this mess already. You don't have to forgive me. I hope you understand. She's gone. She took it. That bitch-born whore. Well, now we get to deal with the Arashok and the fugitives ourselves. That's good. That's enough. Let's go to the compound. She'll be back. She'll be back. I have to believe in her. Also, we just got an upgrade for her gear, so... <laughs> I don't think she's gone, you know? I think we have to believe that she's probably coming back. Well, I guess you never know for sure. You can lose companions in Dragon Age. Um... Obviously, it hasn't happened to us across the two games yet. I think the idea is... Um, basically, it happens if you just lower their approval too much. If you just do too many things that they don't like. You end up uh, doing a bit of a runner. I think that's Dragon Age 1. I don't know if that's the thing in Dragon Age 2. Because it's rivals. And the rivals isn't necessarily a bad thing. But it is a thing in Dragon Age Origins at the very least. Goodness, that was exciting. <laughs> blood mages. <sighs> right. To the compound, I guess. It's all a bit ominous. You can just feel like it's all building up to a head, you know. There are bad times coming. But what will those bad times look like? That's the question. How bad are the bad times? Oh, timesy are the timesies. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I also need to pick a film to watch tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to watch. What am I vibing with? Oh, I can't. I was going to pick a... I'm not allowed to replace Isabella. <laughs> I'm going to try to prepare for the situation. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess. And could get worse. 
I still have things I need to do. Right. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up your business, we'll need to go to the Canari compound together. Well, that would suggest that this is the end of Act 2. How long is this game? Maybe about 35 hours, something like that. Um, okay. I don't, I mean, the only thing I'm confused about is Herbalist's tasks. So I'm just going to check this one to make sure there's nothing else I'm meant to be doing. Maybe it just pops up again. Um, in Chapter 3. But I just want to double check. Uh, Herbalist tasks is a secondary quest. Blah, 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 blah. Walk through. Get it all. Okay. Oh. I broke it. <laughs> um, it looks like turning it all... We didn't turn it all in at once, though, did we? I thought... It says that turning it all in at once can break the quest. But, I mean, it looks like the quest is broken. I don't know what else to say. So. It's slightly annoying. Oh, well. You know, they managed to go back and patch the game to make it launch with the goddamn EA launcher, but they can't fix the bugs. <laughs> Sad. Here we go. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess. Nothing else to do. It could get worse. Let's go. I request an audience with the Arish shock. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. That's more people. <laughs> There's three of us. We're going to lose one and then add a compliment of God. That's more people. <laughs> That's not a lower number. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Kunari, you so silly. Shenedon. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hawk about the relics stolen from my grasp. If you give me time, I'll get it back for you. It is much too late for that. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Fidithari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Hmm. I can't, no, that's, see, that's not okay. <laughs> you can't just say that, oh, I'm going to join such and such, now you've got to treat me. Like, it's, if, if they moved, no, no, at the end of the day, if you commit the crime in that country, you submit, or well, in the t case of the city, you submit to the city's rules. You can't then go and get sheltered elsewhere. I know that's how extradition works and stuff like that, and that is a thing in real life, but all countries should have extradition rules with other countries. They don't, but they should. You must know that harboring murderers will lead to bloodshed. It will lead where it must. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Speak, Vidathari. Who did you murder and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. But they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. What these men did was wrong. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidithari will submit to the Kune and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Tell me, Hawk, what would you do in my place? They would make poor Kunari without the horns. I see. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. 
Arashok, there is no need for. The neck cut us. Not here. Too open. Go, go. Hawk. God damn. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I I totally understand why they've killed the guardsmen. I, I get it. I understand emotionally, but I do believe you can't just have vigilante justice. Otherwise, society would capitulate. Yarashak is... I thought he was okay, but he's a bit of a prick, really. Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? It doesn't matter. We need to act. I agree. We can't do anything on our own, however. Well, Fenris, you're back in. Let me guess. Our friends from Parvalan decided to take over after all. The Canari are assaulting the city, and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. We should head to the keep to rally my guardsmen. Whatever happens, be careful. It's quite an interesting quest, just thinking in terms of like... Um... Oh, let me try this. So I want to turn on Blood of the First. Ha! And now I'll turn all these on. Okay, so it still eats my mana, but you can do it past 100%. That's very strange. I'm not really sure why that works the way it does, but it does, so that's fine. Um, why is that leveling on you, buddy? I've just maxed that out, don't we? Yeah, that's done now. This is done. Sorry, I need to sneeze. Enemy damage resistance, 90% versus basic attacks, and... Okay, cool. That's, that's strong. I mean, 10% bonus damage on basic attacks isn't anything special, but the crit one is better. There's interesting things to think about here in terms of um, immigration and cultural assimilation and all that kind of jazz. Really focus this guy as usual. Going in. Um. There has to be some give and take, right? The world is a melting pot and you can't expect people to come and join in to your city and your country and assimilate entirely. Like, people should be allowed to retain aspects of their culture and stuff like that, right? That, that's, that's totally okay. People should be allowed to do that. Um, I know some people disagree with that, but those people tend to be racist. <laughs> you know? Um, you don't need total assimilation, but there does have to be. If you're gonna leave your country and come to someone else's country, there has to be some meeting culturally halfway. You have to assimilate yourself at least a little bit, you know? You have to do it entirely, but you, you can't come and expect to retain your culture entirely. It's just just not how it works, right? It's not how life works. Um, if you are in a country or a city or a culture or anything, you are intrinsically submitting to live by the established nature of said culture. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, where's that coming from? Oh, sir. Get him down, get him down. Nothing else matters. Just kill the Cerebas. Been here before, I'm not doing it again. It's funny, sometimes Meryl really does seem like a massive tank. Sometimes she seems to die really easily, and sometimes she's a monster. Where she really thrives is lots of weak enemies. It's really her, her time to shine. Ooh, 
On the list of things I thought might happen today, a Cunari attack would have been near the bottom. Thank you for your help. I don't think we've met. My name is Alistair. Alistair! I've got nothing better than to stay and help, but unfortunately the mission we're on can't be delayed. There's something more important than an invasion. Well, you wouldn't think so, right? I'm afraid there are larger things afoot. I can't say more than that. I wish I could, but I swore on my pinky to keep the warden's secrets. <laughs> I thought your order was more... serious. Hmm. I get that a lot. Reinforcements would come in handy if we fail. Even if I didn't need to go, Grey Wardens aren't supposed to involve themselves in wars like this. We did that in Ferelden, after all. The Order was not impressed, let me tell you. Here, maybe this might help. It belongs to an old friend. But I'm willing to bet she'd like you to have it. Make a watch over you, my friend. And over us all. That was cool. Sacred Heart. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's actually, no, two crit chance on four physical. It's not good for me, but it'll be great for... Uh, I'm just going to save it and keep it for a thingy later on. Do you want a ring, buddy? Yeah, there you go. Give it to uh, Isabella when she comes back. Like she's going to, right? Right? Also, I only got two of this set. I'm missing two pieces. I'm sure I can... Uh, how would I have missed two? I have no idea. Oh my god. Very cool to see Alistair again. That's nice. That's sweet. He's a good egg. I did miss him. And it's nice in a way that the game isn't just a parade of nostalgia. It's not just a parade of returning characters. You know, everyone we're hanging hang, hang. <laughs> Everyone we're hanging out with is completely brand new. Which I think is a better way of doing it. But it's nice that they can show up again in some forms. So it's a good mix. And Alistair maybe isn't hanging around for very long, but it's good to know he's okay and he's working with the wardens and he's got his own little missions going on and everything. Looting done. <laughs> I mean, they're the looters, but we. Uh, well, I mean, you know, there's a riot. This is this is when people will strike, rather than inevitably. But, uh, would you, if you, if right, let's say, let's say you're out at the shop and you're at a hardware, not hardware. You're at like an electronics shop, right? You're gonna buy yourself a new TV. You've been saving for many moons to buy yourself a brand new television, which is something I've been looking at recently, which is why I'm talking about it. And suddenly there's a riot. Okay. Because, and this should make it easier, I think, but the right is occurring because the owner of the television store is genocidal <laughs> and has killed many babies, okay? So, if the riot breaks out and people start looting, do you loot in that circumstance against the genocidal store maniac? Not saying you're gonna hurt anyone, but do you rob a TV, basically? If there's a, a big swelling crowd and lots of people stealing things, would you take a TV? I think a lot of people would say no, but I think in reality that might play out very differently than you'd expect. I I, I could not sit here and in, in all honesty say that I wouldn't join in, you know? But it's just stealing. Why is stealing acceptable just because everyone else is doing it? I don't think that's how it works. But it's stealing from a bad person. Or maybe then it's the, uh, what the heck? Or maybe then the uh, store workers are the ones who suffer for it, so. Yeah. Wait, I don't have a rogue. I don't have a rogue! Isabella, come back! 
I really thought Stem was his name, you know. I didn't realize it was like a title. It's like a type of warrior or something. Throw this down over here, if you don't mind. Meryl was right in the middle of all that. <laughs> I didn't realize. Sten is very tough, I'll say that one. I mean, this is the kind of situation that um, I was made for, really. Tons of enemies. That's what she wants. She wants to be surrounded by elves and men. Pretty confident in my assertions about how the XP works in this game. Um, big day today. My Jurassic. I'm excited. I'm going to watch Jurassic Park in 4K today. I'm excited to do that. In the UHD. Oh, maybe that's what I'm eating today. Eating? Watching. <laughs> I need to keep working on my folk horror as well, though. Yeah, very much looking forward to this. Right, you better stay. You're not going to be here. I'm never going to open you. How sad. Should have brought Varric, now that I think about it, actually, rather than... I just like having 2-2, two, two, you know, melee range. It just seems to fit. I should have just ended the video. I'm a silly Billy. Oh, no. The fifth blight began 930 Dragon. It's an interesting way of... What is that, like, ninth millennium? Ninth century? 30th month? I'm not sure how the calendar works in this game. Parshera, quit your struggling, woman. Tepa, boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. I just steal random women. <laughs> There's laws against this kind of thing. Oh, I guess you don't care, you're evading the same or still. This guy in the background is just whomping on me over and over again. Meryl, help me out, please. Thank you. You're going to have to put up, I'm afraid, buddy. It's a full fight. Oh, it's because of this guy. No, it's so tall just now. Come here, you. I need to control him as much as I can. Whoa! See, I told you, you can't, you can't go near this. Oh, is, is it thinking? It's not thinking. Is that Meredith? We've never met Meredith. I am Knight Commander Meredith. I know you. You are Sakava's sister. Strange that he has never mentioned you. <laughs> Not that strange. It's good that we found you, Knight Commander. The Canari are... It's obvious what they're doing. The Kunari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Always happy to help in a life threatening crisis. Good. I'll overlook your own use of magic for the moment. 
Head to the keep, and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. I'm not sure I like that aspect of her attitude, but she does seem like a baller, I'll say that much. She seems very cool. That Sarabas was about to destroy all of us, which is very Sarabasian of them. That's just what they it's kind of just what they do. <sighs> Fancy poison rings everywhere. Right, we're gonna end it there. Uh, next video, we will head to the keep and uh, see what we can do. Can we stop the invasion? Oh, so I just hit R. My character ran off. Where's she going? Where's she? Go? She's found something. <laughs> I hit R and she ran miles away. This is, this works quite well actually. I can kind of just hit it and she kind of just runs off like she's doing. Oh no! I can't do that. No! I can't do that. Anyways. Right, we all ended there. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks super soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.